Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shine and shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Now thank we all our God, with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way, with countless gifts of love, and still is ours today. O may this gracious God, through all our life, be near us, with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us. Preserve us in his grace, and guide us in distress, and free us from all sin, till heaven we possess. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Spirit blessed, who reigns in highest heaven. Eternal triune God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. John, the Apostle and Evangelist, a virgin chosen by the Lord, was loved by the Lord above the others. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. John, the Apostle and Evangelist, a virgin chosen by the Lord, was loved by the Lord above the others. To the Virgin John, Christ, dying on the cross, entrusted his virgin mother. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. 
you sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. To the Virgin John, Christ, dying on the cross, entrusted his virgin mother. The disciple whom Jesus loved cried out, It is the Lord. Hallelujah. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The disciple whom Jesus loved cried out, It is the Lord. Hallelujah. A reading from Acts chapter 4. Peter and John answered, Judge for yourselves whether it is right in God's sight for us to obey you rather than God. Surely, we cannot help speaking of what we have heard and seen. You have made them rulers over all the earth. You have made them rulers over all the earth. They will always remember your name, O Lord, over all the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. You have made them rulers over all the earth. The Word was made flesh and lived among us, and we have seen His glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Word was made flesh and lived among us, and we have seen His glory. My brothers, we build on the foundation of the apostles. Let us pray to our Almighty Father for His holy people and say, Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Father, you wanted your Son to be seen first by the apostles after the resurrection from the dead. We ask you to make us His witnesses to the farthest corners of the world. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to preach the good news to the poor. Help us to preach this gospel to every creature. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to sow the seed of an unending life. Grant that we, 
who works at sowing the seed may share the joy of the harvest. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to reconcile all men to you through his blood. Help us all to work towards achieving this reconciliation. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Your Son sits at the right hand of in heaven. Let the dead enter your kingdom of joy. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Let us make our prayers and praises complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you have revealed the mysteries of your word through John the Apostle. By prayer and reflection, may we come to understand the wisdom he taught. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.